try to get started. The twins. Okay. What? Oh, it's voiced? Huh? Not quite. Seriously? Well, it seems. Your father is once again tied up in one of his many adventuring endeavors. He told me to tell you that he missed the last ship to Deep Harbor as he was busy. Um, Veto squints at the letter in his hand. Playing a dragon? Huh? huh? Playing a dragon? Hmm. Sorry, I think he meant slaying a dragon. Excuse me? That's it. So you're telling me Dad went on a trip, another one of his business-related shenanigans, and somehow got himself involved with a dragon? Don't be absurd. It's one thing to be late for a birthday, but seriously? He was supposed to be gone a week, and now he's just busy with a dragon. Only with Dad. Anyway. He wanted me to inform you, too, that he's giving you both a gift for your 18th birthday. <sighs> we just turned 23! <laughs> oh, well. Better late than never, I suppose. Oh, that's funny. Who's your character? Um... Gonna go with the chick. Um... He, her. So I have to spend stat... Point. You have 18 points. I should just like make it all even, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I want my stats. This uh, might not be a good idea, but that's fine. But we're gonna go with it. Hey, Edheads. Sorry I couldn't make it to your birthday this year. I kind of got tied up during the business trip, so I may have to stick around for a little longer. I Also, I may have started a revolution, and I might be involved with some ancient prophecy. Also, also, I have to slay a dragon. But don't worry, while your old man's pulling a Viva La Vida in Raimundo, I have a gift for the two of you. A tavern. Good luck. Love, Daddy-o. Oh god. So I got a tavern. Well... So you have a tavern now, huh? Guess it's not too shabby looking. All he needs is a little elbow grease. Uh, knock knock knock. Someone's at the door. Hey. Hey there, ready for your first customer? Um... Our first customer? Welcome! <laughs> hey there, cutie! A beat it, pal. Oh, welcome. Or open, open, open. Can I turn up the... The mouse to... Let's see. Our first customer! <laughs> sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. Actually, we're closed right now. Wait. Huh? Junior? Hey. Hey, Edhead. Oh, come on in. Junior, come on in. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. You two know each other? Yeah. I'll say, eight years ago, back in Mayville, after you left for boarding school, Junior and I became... Did you say best friend? I suppose. We were something of a dynamic duo. Mmm, that takes me back. Oh, that's cute. We were inseparable up until I left for bar college. Yeah. Come, sit down, sit down. I'm sorry the place is so empty. Oh, uh, let me get you a drink. I'm not sure where anything is yet. I motion to Junior to take a seat, fumbling my way around the bar supplies. I do my best to open what drawers I can, most of them being locked. But, yeah. I had no idea you were in Deep Harbor. We just arrived. Do you live here? Yeah. Yeah, for years. When I heard your dad bought this place, of course I had to come check it out. Apparently we're understaffed. We're supposed to have at least one employee, the head bartender. But I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> oh yeah? It's so hard to find reliable people these days, eh? Oh wow. Well, I guess we have our work cut out for us. It's probably not the best sign that they're missing. Really making your life harder, huh? But yeah. <laughs> this tavern was a big surprise to us. Well 
But I think it could be a good thing. Being fresh out of Bard College, maybe a tavern is just what we need to get our name out to the public. Yeah. I think everything could bloom together wonderfully. I managed to find some gin and lemon juice and cobble together a cocktail for Junia. Yeah. Oh well. Sai, you haven't changed. Always an optimist. Am I right? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's always been this way. Well... I'm serious. I feel like I can really learn something here. I like to do my best. I can picture this tavern filled with friendship and music. Junya encouraged my dreams back in the day. We wrote a song lyrics together. She knows how much music means to me. Well... Well, it's a good thing I know your songs are way better than your drinks. We keep the keys in that bottom left drawer, by the way. And there's a false back, obviously for security. Junya hops across the bar, grabs ingredients from everywhere. With ease and confidence, she whips up two drinks. What? Wait, what? You're the head bartender? Yeah. Guilty as charged. So now that you've caught up, I suppose I should explain. Sips, sipping drink. <laughs> this is delicious. I suppose. Thanks. I've been working here for a few months. But yeah. Your dad needed a great bartender and manager, and I needed a job. Exactly. It was a win-win. When everyone else quit, well... because to be honest, your dad is a cool guy, but a terrible businessman. Let it stick it out long enough for you two to arrive. Well... You know, to see if I liked what I saw. Yeah? And? I suppose. Possible, but let's say I wouldn't hire you to be my head bartender just yet. Junior. Yeah? What? Um... Please stay? I suppose. Deal. For now. But I'm not singing show tunes with you. I've got enough on my plate helping you to get this place back up and running. Starters. Junya slams a map down on the bar. Right. We'll need to hire staff. So, for getting our tavern in order, we have a few places we can check. Right. First, there's High Street. Well... I know there's an arena there, so I could probably contact the arena master if we could run an ad there. Might run into some meatheads here, but they're all harm harmless for the most part. But yeah. But we could probably still get a lot of high-profile eyes looking at our, our way... Looking our way with that, too. Oh. We should also get some recipe books. I know there's a library in the, the academy near there. Right. Next is Central Square. We could probably post an ad on the bulletin board in the town plaza. I think so. I'm sure we'll attract some great talent through there. By the way. Also, I think I have some contacts at the theater if you'd like help spread the word about our new establishment. Right. Lastly, there's Portside. Exactly. Honestly, this place is my kind of wheelhouse. Oh, well... Though I'm not sure about the employees we might attract. But, see... So I can at least guarantee that people from the docks don't give up easily, so if you're looking for grit, this is the way to go. Yeah. You could also get some tavern supplies and ingredients from the market. Well... So where do you want to start? I'm thinking Central Square sounds good. Suppose we could start with Central Square. Great, let's head out. Alright. We make our way towards Central, Central Square. Down the central path leads us to the town plaza. Town Plaza is part of the city of Deep Harbor, aside from being at the direct center of the city. The Town Plaza is often the place where citizens host events, rallies, and festivals for various reasons and occasions. Our dog Calwell likes the hot dogs from the vendor here. Uh, further east, we have the theater. A shared space between the Actors Guild and the Musicians Guild, the theater is a culmination of crafts between these performing guilds. Here you'll find great live music and performances every night and full production plays showcased every month. Though the guilds often butt heads um, with who gets the space when? Rama! Where to first, I wonder? Let's go to the plaza. I see a man set up near the fountain standing on a wooden box. He appears to be performing magic tricks. I'm Owen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, folks, and friends. Owen's the name. Sorcerin's my game. It is I, Owen, the Dark Flame Sorcerer. The man then turns to right. me. You, dear friend. Gets off his wooden crate and makes his way to me holding a fan of cards. Yeah. Take a card. Any card. 
I'm gonna pick a rightish card. I pick a card near the right side. It's the Queen of Clubs. Now, yeah. yeah, memorize the card very carefully and envision it in your head. I do what he asks, imagining the card in my head. Great, now watch this. The card begins to heat up till it suddenly combusts. <laughs> oh, gods! Ah, hot, hot. I drop the smoldering card. Um. All according to plan. Oh, dear. Owen at it again. <sighs> Owen. Sure thing. My bad. Ugh. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. How's that? How'd you do it? Huh? Do what? Permit me to clarify. The combusting of the card. You were clearly doing the somatics for the spell read mine, but you managed to make the card catch fire. How did you manipulate such a spell to change its effects so drastically? Well. Oh, I suppose my magic could be a little quirky sometimes. Oh. Quirky, you say? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. Ah. I see. Oh my. <laughs> Watch out, kid. Don't let her get too close to you or Doc here might d dissect you. Hold a moment. Ah, oh, don't be silly, Junior. I won't be dissecting him. And stop calling me Doc. While back, only surgery is a fun hobby. I'm an artificer at heart. Suddenly, we hear heavy footsteps heading away. What do you want? Oh, and what do we say about fire in the square? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um. My hand slipped. But see. He gave a whole speech. Well. Also, my mouth. My mouth slipped. <laughs> Get out before I lock you up again. Uh. At the donations. Excuse me. I'll be confiscating that. Now leave. Well. You know, Edna's looking for workers. Oh. Well, I'm not exactly sure about. Sure thing. Oh, thank goodness. Um. You know, the work's not really for everyone. Exactly. Going by the tavern tomorrow. Please, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Tavern tomorrow, got it. By the way. Come in, Lark. Indeed. Now this I gotta see. <laughs> After picking up Owen and Lark, we head to the next location in Central Square, the theater. We arrive to the theater and find a cast of actors here having an outside rehearsal. There's a set director props that By works. the way! So, Edmund, any of these your contacts? I think so. Oh, I think she's... I scan the crowd of actors, all of them distinguished fancy folk. Well, except for... Right. Off with ye! A short, white-haired woman grabs the megaphone from the director, up on the directing platform, shoving him off to land in a nearby bush. The woman appeared to be making, or appears to be making demands of the, to the cast of actors. Um... Uh, is that? <sighs> yep, that's Naomi. But yeah. Hear ye, hear ye. Right. Great. Now that I have your attention, it is with great pleasure that I regret to inform you that the manager of this here theater house has sadly passed. The crowd of actors gasp collectively and begin murmuring. Yep. It's the truth. Speaks into the megaphone once again. But, yeah. but fear not. Before Athena's untimely passing, she entrusted Moy with completing the production. <laughs> now, scrap everything you know about the Phantom of the Valley. Instead of the play being dull and drab and horror, we're setting it in a high school. I think so. Instead of Strood and Iana being in a problematic and Stockholm relationship, we're making them rivals for student council. Obviously. Oh my god. Also, Van Helrich is no longer an old decrypt man. He's young and hot too now. In fact, the three of them are in a love triangle. But yeah. So sorry, Eugene, you're fired. <laughs> Naomi continues making demands and script changes. It's honestly interesting to watch. The actors scramble to re-memorize their lines and the prop team begins redoing the stage to fit high school setting. The man who played the old vampire hunter looks on longingly. This goes on for a little bit till a carriage arrives and a very shocked woman steps out. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. What happened to the set? Hey! Oh, hey, Miss Athena. Like the new revamp? Ha, <laughs> get it. Because of all the vampires. You're fired. Naomi, this is the last straw. You're fired. Uh, such a killjoy. <laughs> The woman drops the megaphone and vanishes into a shroud of mist. Well... 
That was certainly interesting. By the way... What did you think of my debut? Uh, oh, gods. Now, Naomi, don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Who's she? My name is Edna. Hi. Also I'm unfuckable, it seems. Hi, I'm Naomi. Then another woman comes over to us. Naomi? What was that? Uh, such a killjoy. Just the man keeping creatives like me down. You see... Hey, I mean, this is the third job this week. Please, why don't we just... Don't wanna! Listen, I'm not going back home. I appreciate you helping me out, sis. And I'm not telling mom and dad, but I can't give up now. By the way... Say, hey, Eddie, you wouldn't be... You wouldn't happen to be hiring, would you? I'm just a poor girl down on her luck, looking to make the most of herself. Wh what? Naomi! Hey! I am, actually, down at the tavern. We're the owners of the Ready Bready Tavern. <laughs> wow! Great, did you hear that, Kara? I just started this new job at the tavern. I can't be running off so quickly. That would be mighty fine unprofessional. Um, now, wouldn't it? Who would do that? <laughs> That's what I thought. Um... Are you two still fighting? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Way. Also, Emma, you never told me your sibling was hot. Um. Yep. Anyway, see you at the tavern. And just like that, she poofs into the mist once again. Naomi. But oh my see... God. Here, Edna, would you allow me to join you as well? I just don't want Naomi getting into any trouble for both you and her sake. I suppose. I suppose we are rather short staffed still. Well then. Oh good, it's a pleasure to meet you, Edna. And nice to see you again, Edmund. We should catch up. The old director comes crawling out of the bush. Kara kicks the director. He collapses unconscious once again. Oh well. I'll grab my healing staff. Uh, things are looking up with four new employees. We go back home. Oh, can I walk around? Oh my god, I can! Alright, so... How do I talk? Oh, space bar, it looks like. How are you holding up, Edmund? Not well. Stress getting you that badly? No, this chair, my back. Really? That's your biggest concern? Save me. Uh, do some stretches. Trust me, you'll feel so much better after. Oh yeah, bodies can move and stiff. Several loud pops and crack sounds as Edmund stretches. How do you have dried spaghetti under your shirt or something? <laughs> That's the sound of hard work. Edmund stretches the other way and more cracks can be heard. Please don't break something. Hey, Edna, I've been wa waiting to see you all day. Really now? What's got you with such a pep in your step? Oh, nothing. Just news of the super cool magic man and he's been spotted around Deep Harbor. He proceeds to shove a drawing of what seems to be indeed a magic man doing all kinds of badass magic, but it resembles Owen. Well then, he's honestly... Uh, really cool looking. <laughs> Let's, uh, boost his ego. Why not? It seems like they can really do all kinds of things with that kind of power. I bet they help a lot of people. I know, I, uh, I mean, he's such a good guy, totally a cool kind of magic man, with innate magic he was born with, cough. Like a sorcerer, perhaps? He visibly starts this way. Oh, uh, yeah, th that's it, a sorcerer. Th thanks for the idea. Wink. Said wink out loud. <laughs> okay, fine, it's me, but thanks for the compliment. I'm going to go now, goodbye. I think I broke him. Nah. God. Full moon tonight. I live a full moon, brimming with wonder. Perfect for curses. Please don't curse anyone. You're not my mom. I'm your boss. Yes. Oh my god. Right. Kara, you look concerned. Oh, it's nothing. Just letters of complaint. For us? Oh no, letters addressed to the church. It seems folks are unhappy with the benefits of their ongoing prayer subscription. <laughs> subscription? <laughs> Missing localization for line line 081B8C5 in string table English. Um, 
Yeah, that's an <laughs> that's an error in the game. Oh, I thought she was reading that. Like, I thought that was in the complaints. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that was a game error. <laughs> oh, whoops. It was a recent change. Those faithful would send donations to the church and turn or clergy would provide religious services to them, such as prayers and blessings. Uh, seems like this time of year is bearing not so much fruit to these individuals. I see, and they blame you for their misfortune? I suppose. Alright, let's talk to her. You know, I think the total IQ of the room is dropping. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It means get back to work and raise that IQ. No seriousness, you've been running the tavern quite adequately. Honestly, I thought I'd do worse, but I'll strive to do better. I'm counting on that. We can only coast on adequately for so long. Alright, so... It's 2pm. And it looks like I'm able to go out and recruit people. Ooh, who's this? Oh, it's that doc, yeah. Edna, you're just in time. What is? Before I can even finish the thought, Lark presents a small remote. I finally get to try out my newest invention, and you're the perfect guinea pig to help with it. Okay, but what is it? With a simple press of this button, everyone around me shall be speechless. She confidently presses the button as little sparks fly violently from the remote. Dot dot dot. <laughs> just as she said, I'm speechless. Though it's because that little remote is still in one piece. I knew it. Finally, I could silence those devious door-to-door -door salesmen. They've had it good for too long. She presses the button again, and the sparking proceeds to stop. But what? I'm still in shock with what just happened. Barely a peep can leave my mouth. It might work a bit too well, but thanks for being such a great guinea pig. God. This is a cute little tavern. Alright, so I talked to everybody. Let's uh, go hire more peeps. Hey, ready to hire more peeps? Let's do it. Where would you like to go? Um, should we go to the arena or the dog? Let's um, uh, I don't know. We could use some dudes, you know, like a security guard or something, right? <laughs> I suppose we could head to High Street. All right. Yeah, and the, the academy is here too, so they can go get some books or whatever. We make our way towards High Street. To my north, we have the academy. The wellspring for Departer Studious and Arcana Incline. The academy is where bright pupils come to learn about the world and magic. Whoever said books are boring clearly missed out on how to cast Fireball. Uh, further west, we have the arena. The spurring arena for where marshal, marshals come to compete, usually after training in the dojo. The arena is primarily for martial and gladiatorial contests of combat, but they say at night other dealings transpire. <laughs> Perhaps of the more performance variety. Uh, let's go to the academy. Junior, Edmund, and I make our way to the library. We take our time looking for Edmund's recipe books when we stumble upon a man muttering to himself. Simply put. And despite your numerous credentials and academic achievements, we unfortunately would prefer applicants with more... ...cultural experience. Might we suggest a work placement at one of your other local establishments? Hmm. The man squints harder at his rejection letter. A work placement? Seriously? <sighs> God. Hey. Pro, working hard, hardly working, looking for work. Well... Yes, no, maybe. Oh my. Spicy. No. Not with you, though. I suppose. That'd be a terrible boss. Indeed. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Am or I maybe. now? Or maybe I'd be pretty cool. Well then. I beg to disagree. Oh my. Ouch, Pro, the unhurt, wounded even. Who's your friend? Edna. Pro, meet Edna Ford. Hmm? Edna Ford, any relation to the old bloke you work for? Yeah. Yeah, she's my boss. Or, yeah, she's my boss's kid. Though now that the old man's AWOL, she's the new boss. Well... That place is a dump. 
<laughs> I suppose. You yourself seem less dump-like. Well... No offense. Oh my. Mood. Say. Let's get to the chase. What do you want? You! Come on! I need you, crow! No. You. Well... Actually, I don't need you. Please, wait. <laughs> uh, what she's trying to say is that we're hiring. We're revamping the tavern. No. No. Yeah? Please? Simply put. I have studies to do. But see... Your smarts isn't the problem, Crow. We both know that. You need letters of support. Guarantors, benefactors, friends. Well... Katie here has a wonderful way with words. I'm sure she'd be more than happy to put in a glowing recommendation for you. I'm a wizard. No, I refuse. I'm a wizard. Listen. Come on, it'll be fun. And you'll get to actually meet people and socialize. Think about it. Interesting, distinguished individuals who aren't just the snobs of the school. I suppose. Fine. <laughs> right. Bingo. I suppose. If I may ask. Yup. Tomorrow you're hired. Bring an apron. What? What? Wait, I didn't. Uh huh. See you then. Move faster, Edna. <laughs> right. All right, everyone. I found the recipe books I wanted. Um. Hello. Where did everyone go? After picking up Crow, we head to the next location in High Street, the arena. We arrive at the arena, the Grand Coliseum of Deep Harbor. Uh, Junior and Edmund head off to talk with the arena master when I spot two individuals training near the Western yeah. Wall. Breathe in. Oh, come on. Shut up. Right. Breathe out. Uh, Shut up. Yes. Breathe in. Don't talk down to me. <laughs> Shut up. Right. Breathe out. Freaking unbelievable. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yes. Breathe it. No! Ah! Martial artist looking individual runs full pelt into the wall, crashing into it pretty hard, I add. <sighs> Almost. Excuse me? Are you okay? No! I'm fine, Hector. Well... That wasn't me. The man gets up and leaves. Um... Is he gonna be alright? He just... Hmm. Wait. Alright! Ah! Then the man runs back towards the wall and rams right into it again. Freaking unbelievable! Freaking mother freaking piece of cheese on freaking! Right. So close. But, see... Tears. Um... What are you doing? Training? Yes. Punk things. Apparently he can run up walls. Don't talk down to me. I can. Right. That has yet to be seen. Now... What are you doing? Quite. Watching. <laughs> hey! Are you not entertained? No. I'm more concerned than entertained. Hey! Again! Listen. I reckon. Bigger run up. Hey, yeah, yeah! Yeah, that's gotta be it. And leaves once more. I'm Hector. Anyway, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Name's Hector. The monk's over there is Frankie. All right. I'm Edna. I just moved here with my brother a few weeks ago. Hey. Oh, so you're Edna. Huh? You know me? How? Quite. Heard about a set of twins inheriting the old Ready Ready Tavern. Suppose your reputation precedes you. All right! Ah. Uh... Frankie crashes into the wall, then falls backwards. His eyes are dazed and his body unmoving. Um... Uh, is he okay? Yes. He will be. Well... I think. Uh. <laughs> Hector! Hmm? Yeah? Uh. I think I'm dying. <laughs> hmm. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, these two. No. <laughs> also, I don't think this is working. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Hey there. So, Edna, you're hiring, yeah? Yes. I need some help around the tavern, yes. No. No. Well... You know, Frankie's terrible at running up walls, but he's pretty fast if you balance plates with ease. No. Nope. I said no. Hmm, my, my. I do recall his master saying he needs to venture forth and find himself purpose. Maybe working at your tavern will help him learn inner peace. No! No. Quite. 
And he's extremely poor and desperately in need of a job. Well... Just saying. But... see... I mean, I wouldn't want to impose. <laughs> You'd be doing nothing of the sort. Honestly, Frankie needs us. Well... Well, maybe. I'm not too sure. Brilliant! Brilliant! See you tomorrow, boss. Huh? You? <laughs> Why not? You won't find a better strongman in all of Deep Harbor, and I need to see him drop this place, because I know that's gonna be golden. Uh. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Alright, up we go. Hector lifts Frankie off the ground. <laughs> Later, boss! Hector exits with Frankie. What? Wait! Oh. oh. I suppose. Well then. We head to the tavern, celebrating three new hires from High Street. Alright, let's see. Where are they? Hi, Edna. I just got done with some exercises and I'm feeling better than ever. That's great, though. What kind of exercises did you perform? I'm glad you asked. I've been working hard with some push-ups in the morning, some casual stretches in the afternoon, and a bit of a run to help wind down for the night. He flexes his muscles, clearly trying to fish for a compliment, though he did put, up, put in the work. Um, what a workout. <laughs> Ah, with a routine like that, you'll be stronger than a bear. I can already see the progress you made. I had a feeling the difference was clear now. I know I'm going places. Just gotta keep this up. Hopefully in the meantime you can still help around the tavern. That ought to be the cherry on top with all the work you've been doing. Of course, how else am I gonna show off my results? I'll see you later. Oh my god. Hey, Crow. Uh, what you got there? A book. That's a pretty big book. Are you sure you can cook while holding it? Well, no one's ordering anything right now. True, but what about when someone does come? I can make it float. <laughs> I'll let you get right to it. Thank you. What are you reading anyway? Just a recipe book. You can check it out later. Maybe you'll see some dishes you need to add to the menu. That would be nice. And then last guy. Herder, I'm a dumb barbarian. What? <laughs> uh, excuse me? No, you're not. Just practicing my act. For who? For class. I'm taking an acting class. They've got us embodying tropes, though. Her, der, I'm a dumb barbarian. <laughs> uh, no thoughts. No thoughts, only smash. Man, go break, defeat enemy, break bone, smash plate. Plate, no smash. Plate, no smash. Oh my god, that's funny. Alright, so now we have to go to the last place, I think, to recruit people. These are some interesting characters. Like, I like how unique they all are. Uh, last stop, Portside. We make our way towards Portside. First up, we had the market. The Popper's market might not hold riches and baubles, but instead you will find the simple things, such as supplies for craftsmen, artisans selling works, and farmers with their produce and meats. Sometimes ingredients to a delicious meal is worth more than its weight in gold. Further south, we have the docks, the bustling boardwalk and shipyard of Deep Harbor, where the fishers and sailors find themselves trading stories, sea goods, and anything you don't want a watchman to sniff out. <laughs> Probably masked by the fish. Where to first, I wonder? We're gonna go to the market. Uh, we arrive at the market to the sounds of trade and commerce. Especially with the holidays coming up, it seems the market is most especially busy around this time. Uh, Genia and Edmund go shopping for ingredients for the tavern while I begin posting some help wanted signs on the wall post. You know. You know, Mr. Druid. Um. Oh, it's it's Vincent. You know it. Uh, you seem like a nice fellow, but vinaigrette. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, it's, uh, thank you. But yeah. You should meet Quack. Uh huh. Who? Yeah. Quack. Oh yeah. Are they a duck? Nope. A cat, actually. He's my ranger companion. It can get confusing, apparently. Well. This whole place is a little confusing. Nothing like the Druid colony. But see. But isn't it confusingly wonderful? The friendly people, the beautiful streets. 
fresh open air and the laughter and joy everywhere you go? <sighs> yes, and a little strange. I suppose. Well. You know, you can't pick the fruits here. You have to pay with, what is it called? Uh, Honey? Yeah. Yes, that one. Yeah, see? It could take some getting used to, but it's pretty straightforward usually. You take the money, you give the money, you get the thing. But see... So how do you get this money? Um... Well, you can get money by giving a thing, I guess. Uh-huh. What thing? Hey! Anything, if people are willing to give you money for it. But see... But how do I pick the fruit to get the money to get the fruit to get the money to get the fruit? <sighs> Where does it end? Hmm... Yeah? Does it? I guess. I'll have to ask Quack. Oi! Hey, treetop. Um. Oh, it's actually Vince. What a loser. Get a job. Yeah? Job? Right. All right, that's the other way you get money. Yeah, see? See this person over here? The the speckled woman get, gestures to me. Yep. She's putting up flyers. They do a job or a task for someone, and they get rewarded with money. Um. Ooh. That's amazing. How do I get one of these jobs? Yeah, see? You can ask this person over here. <laughs> he turns towards me. Hey ya! Salutations, dear working friend. You wouldn't happen to need more helping hands putting up flyers, would you? Well... Uh, no, but maybe if you're looking for a job, you could. <laughs> Gingerly point to the help wanted flyer I posted. Um... You could get a job at our tavern. Wow. Well, a tavern? Those are like watering holes where people eat great game and celebrate, right? Yeah? That's a fairly accurate description. Yeah! Count me in! Yeah! Me too! My name is Edna. I suppose. Welcome aboard. My name's Edna. Yeah, see? I'm Glasses, and this is Vinny. Um... It's well... I suppose. Sure, you can call me Vinny. <laughs> After picking up Vinny and Glasses, we head to the next location in Portside, the docks. We arrive at the docks, the smell of salt and fish permeates the air, and is dreadfully cold with the winter breeze cooled by the bay. I don't think I've been to this part of town before, so I let Junior lead the way. We begin posting a few flyers of, of our help wanted on some board posts, when Junior recognizes someone. Huh? Dante? No. It's Etned. So Dante backwards. Listen. You can't just spell your name backwards, Dante. That's not a cover, that's just Pig Latin. Well... It's actually not, but... Really? Really? Damn. Hmm. <laughs> really bad at this subterfuge thing. Well... Really? Damn. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, there's my favorite sarcastic Dante. Um... That felt a little forced. This is Edna, she likes to ruin my jokes. Well... Critique. Well... Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Right. Nice to meet you, too. Well... Dante, or Etnud, here, despite his prickly exterior and jarring personality, is the second best bartender I know. Really? And who's the first? <laughs> I'll let you take a guess. I suppose. Well, I suppose we still a bit short staff. Listen. I may have my reservations with working with Junya again. But if it's for the Ready Bready Tavern, I think I can bend my principles. Um... Principles that bend aren't worth check. So what? And so are your lockpicks, you scoundrel. How is one supposed to pick a lock with picks so malleable? Oh, yeah? Skill issue. Oh. Do you two have, like, history? Hell no. no. <laughs> All right. All right, then. Well, don't say if you're interested in starting work with us. Meet us at the tavern. Welcome aboard. Right. I'm happy to lend my services to the tavern. Your father was a good man to me and my family. It's the least I could do. Hmm. Teacher's pet. Listen to me. Pray tell, are you looking for a duel? <laughs> okay, we're leaving. See you there, Dante. <laughs> nice. Three new hires from Portside. We head back to the tavern. Oh, that's funny. Hey, Edna, you seem a bit down on the dumps. What's up? I suppose today's not been too great for business. I know, just the thing to cheer you up. Then he pulls out his backpack and fishes in it for a moment till he finds... An egg? Yes, an egg, friend. Here to cheer you up. Uh, let's go, sure. Hey, Vinny, I'll be sure to take good care of him. 
I'm glad to hear it. This little fella is in great hands. <laughs> right. Ribbit. Glasses, did your dress just ribbit? Nah, I just found a frog on the windowsill. Seems like he wanted to get my attention. But it looked like that. I couldn't say no. Wanna hold him? Uh, absolutely! <laughs> oh yes, please. I raised my hands in excitement. Glasses squealed with absolute delight in her eyes. Oh my gods, you two look adorable. Want to be nice to everybody. You look a little tense, Anna. Is everything alright? Yeah, just daily concerns of running a tavern. I'm alright, though. Thanks for asking. In that case, how about a little light exercise to loosen your muscles up a bit? Sure, why not? <laughs> you know, why not? Very good. Let's do a little dynamic stretching. Now do as I do. Which is, hey, this isn't bad. I feel more relaxed already. The body and mind are connected. Helping one also helps the other. Alright, so now, what do I do? I guess uh, I just go outside and hire more people. I thought we were done. Uh, great. Looks like our tavern is really shaping up. Seems like everything is going well when I notice. Did he watch? Damn, Junior told me they can be hard asses. The guard woman continues to stand by the door. She occasionally claps her hand nervously. I look at the clock. The minutes tick by fast, showing time passing. Half an hour. The guard woman hasn't left. What in the world? I hope we're not. I hope we're up to date on our licenses. I open the door to confront Excuse her. Excuse me? Good morning, officer. I notice you've been here a while. I'm the owner. Is anything amiss? No. Amiss? Oh no. Laws are being broken. Or no laws are being broken. She looks right and left like she's checking for broken laws. Right. Everything seems standard. Yep. I think it is. I mean, yes. Okay. Great. I suppose. Great. An awkward silence follows. Well... Um, it is great. Thanks. Have a good day. As I attempt to close the door, the woman shoves her foot in the doorway and blocks it. <clears throat> Actually, there is something. Your help wanted sign? She stares wide-eyed, hands clasped nervously. Hmm. What about our help wanted sign? I'd like to apply for work here. Are you still looking for an event host? I think so. Yes, you'd like to work here? By yes, I way. think I'd be an excellent fit for the part-time. I've been the official game master for a deep harder city watch for almost three months ever since I started there. I organize a full roster of thrice weekly game nights for watch for the watch, rotating the games with genre and level of difficulty. I plan the prizes and also design original game pieces. I also brought some of my materials if you'd like to look. She hands me a cute box and I immediately stagger at the surprising weight. The box is full of plans and game pieces. Whoa! Wow, you seem very prepared. Well, you see. Well, the only problem is no one shows up to my game nights. Oh, oh, that's so sad. No city watch officials don't have time or interest to play games, but I believe I built a strong system. I would love to put it into action. I already checked with my superiors, and there's no ethical violation. I can share all my plans with you and even the games as long as it doesn't interfere with my other duties. I look through the notebook that says H and H campaign. Um, <laughs> H and H, yeah. humans and households. It's this great fantasy role playing game written by Bards of the Bay. It's my favorite um, PTRPG, and the latest edition, Five E, is super beginner friendly. The Sergeant I prefer is three point five. <laughs> I can tell you put a lot of thought into this. The guild smiles. Hmm, she seems very earnest, but this material and her preparation looks solid. If the games are appealing and these plans draw customers, this will save me a ton of work and training time. Oh, welcome. We'd love to have you join the team. My name's Edna. Thank you so I'm much. Abigail. Oh, that is so cute. I like her a lot. <laughs> Tavern management time. Oh, but I wanted to go talk to Abigail. All right. Uh, choose your team. Uh, choose heroes who have moves that match the type of the customer forecast. Using moves that match will yield you double gold and double damage. 
Okay, so it looks like morale is the one I'm gonna need. All right. Enter the Hector. So we'll do that. Then we'll do some boldness. Good. And some fun. <laughs> we could do that, right? Uh, choose. Oh, I have to choose their All skills. Right. All right. Oh. oh, here we go. Uh. Let's do aura. Is that how All you right. select it? All right. Okay. All right. Let's do. Kind of want to get a couple different things, huh? Well, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. So for him. I kind of want a couple boldness. Go beyond. Wind. I'll do battle, vision, wisdom. And. Okay, one, two, three, four. I can only select four for him, it looks like. All right, let's do both of her specials. Um, Rainforest, ravioli, scout cookies. <laughs> Actually, we need some fun. Okay, so that's it for her. Yeah, so you can only select four, got it. All right, let's do arm wrestle. We'll do that. All right, let's let's see what happens. I, I don't know what to expect. Um. All right, here we go. <laughs> let's see what happens. Customers approach. Uh, click and drag heroes are oh, ready to take orders. Okay. So morale. Um. I, I don't get it. Click and drag heroes. She has three HP. Good heart, the unbreakable. <laughs> I don't want to use that. Back. Okay. Abilities. <clears throat> All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right, morale to HP. 
Oh, so that's how I do it. They all need morale. Can't drag him anymore. <clears throat> gotcha. So drag him. Her. I'm so confused. I, I'm out of turns now. I so click and drag heroes. Use cooking moves in the kitchen. Pick up dishes. Move and serve. Or go to customers and use a hosting move directly on them. Gotcha. So I have to cook and somehow pick up the dish. Hmm. I'm so confused. Really don't know what I'm doing here. All right, so morale to health. Okay. Can we cook anything? I didn't cook. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. To help. Why did he go back there? <laughs> Oops, I forgot to grab the dish. No. Okay. How do I? Get turn, I guess. So, first things first, I need you to go back, maybe, go back, no, can't go back to the kitchen, um, I can't go pick up this dish. All right, pick yep. up and can't put it down. Okay. HP. All right. Hosting moves can be used in the tap room on customers directly. <laughs> this is definitely an interesting game. I'm not sure I'm getting it. You're on. Okay, I delivered that. 
Morale. Good health, morale. Need a lot of morale. Okay. Great. Shaving! Uh, Move here. Mm. At the morale. Right. Um. <clears throat> what? I don't know. Good listener. Yeah. All right. I'm making progress. health and nothing else. Alright. Oh my god, look at him. That's so cool. Alright. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, I did my moves. I don't think I'm doing too great. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah. And with that... Brilliant! Pick yeah. up. I do three damage. Okay. Yes, boss. Right yep. away. One HP. Move there. Yeah. All right. Let's see. One HP, three HP. Yeah. Other. We're done with that turn. I'm really worried how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> oh, geez. Yep. And of course, ravioli. Pick up. Pick 
Yo, yo, yo. All right. Three HP. Um, that costs three. Can't yep. do it. Yeah. I suppose. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I could do for now. Shiver. So we can like if you say so. or HP. Oh, let's not do that. All right, one health left. Hmm. Okay. All right, we're done. Oh, that was it. You earned durable. Oh, I don't do great. <laughs> Obviously, I don't get it yet. 